I'm Dan Riskin. Now we have very precise data on global temperatures going back about 150 years. And it's very clear from those data that the last decade or so is the warmest that we've experienced over that whole span of time. But one problem with the data is that it only goes back that far. And we know that there are oscillations over the course of decades or even centuries where things get warmer or cooler. And it would be nice to be able to see what our temperature spike that we're in right now, to see how that compares to other oscillations over time. But it's not like scientists can just take a thermometer and go back in a time machine and measure the temperature 300 years ago. However, scientists have found the next best thing. They've traveled to Northern Canada, to Ellesmere Island, to a place called North Sawtooth Lake. And the thing that makes that lake special is that every winter, a new layer of ice gets placed on the surface of that lake. So that if you drill down through the ice, you're drilling down through time. You can go to any year you want going back to see ice that was formed in that year. And what makes the ice special is that there's titanium in it. Titanium comes from rocks around the lake that are weathering and it's getting you know, deposited down into that ice, but the amount of titanium in the ice depends on temperature. So if you know the concentration of titanium in a specific layer and you know what year that is, you know what the temperature was that year. Going back with this method, Scientists were able to calculate what the temperature has been in the North Atlantic going back 2,900 years. That's like going back to Romulus and Remus founding Rome. That's an incredible data set. And what they found is looking over that whole span of time that yes, there are oscillations in temperature over the course of decades. The coolest temperatures over that whole time span happened between around 1,400 and 1,600. But the warmest temperatures have been in the last decade. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.